All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can tell by the uh, title of this video, um, we're going to be doing 24 hours on a mid-level account to see like what kind of experience that we can get. Um, just to, just as like a little bit of a forewarning, I am not exactly a meta um, like XP gain type of guy, so this is not going to be the most experience that you can uh, expect in 24 hours. This is kind of going to be a casual, casual that plays 24 hours in a row, but casual. Alrighty, with that being said, um, we are going to, uh, we're starting, it's going to be 7.58 at my local time right now, and we are going to see what we can, uh, how much we can get in the next 24 hours. Hope you guys enjoy this one. We're not going to be doing any quests because I feel like that's going to slow down my progress, um, so there's that. Uh, one more thing to note really early on is that uh, I'm not going to be doing fire making um, for this. I already have 99 fire making, so it wouldn't really make sense to do. And you can easily just calculate that out to uh, 24 hours uh, when you're taught at about 300,000 XP per hour in the official worlds at 99. So you'd, you'd expect, what, was it 7.2 million? Give or take. All right, with that little bit of farming done, looks like maybe we can get some herbal. And I know the bank is looking like shit right now. I promise you guys, in the future, I am going to fix that. Lamp, we're obviously going to throw in the herb lore. No, one. I will get us a level. I thought they did not. Uh, I didn't get us anything to do, but you know, it's a level. Um, so then we're just going to make a bunch of prayer potions as much as we can. Nope, level 47. Alright, we can now clean the Aventos and make uh, super anti-poisons, which is actually kind of nice. We need those uh, super anti-poisons. I've been picking the ones up from Castle Wars this whole time. And 49 Herblore. Alright, 50 Herblore. We can make... Oh, Fishing Potions. Those are useful. Cool. Level 51 Herblore unlocks anti-poison super mix. I don't know. I've never used a super mix, so I don't know if they're good. If the herbler gets us super energy potions, those were actually going to be super useful. I'm looking that up right now. All right, so super super energies are Aventos and Mortmire, which is good because I thought they were Harlanders, but I know that we have a fair amount of Mortmire fungus in here. I think we have some Aventos as well. Um, I may have actually already used Aventos. So I looked in the bag. Turns out we have 121 Aventos. Um, you know what? I didn't look at the Mortmire fungus. 114. So we have a good amount of uh, super energy potions saved up, which is nice, obviously. All right, I think my mic was muted whenever I said this earlier, but um, I pulled up the the hourly XP rates right at the one hour mark, um, which is a minute and a half ago, and we were at about 86.3 thousand XP per hour. Um, so I expect that to be the highest that it's going to be. Um, we're doing a lot of the meta XP gains, or I, I keep saying meta, they're really not meta. I keep doing the fastest XP gains that are available to us at the beginning, so I do expect that number to go down. 53 Herblore, we can make Hunter Potions. 54 Herblore, we can now clean Quarm. 49 Crafting, Bullseye Lanterns. Level 50 Crafting coming in right now. We got Ruby Amulets and Mahogany Birdhouses. We also need to start birdhouse runs on this account. I was muted, but we just got 86 farming, which unlocked nothing for us. 51 crafting. Oh, we can make snakeskin chat. I don't really have a lot of snakeskin saved up. 52 crafting gets us the... Yo, yeah, cool. We're going to make that pretty soon. 78 cooking coming in. Thank you, 10 Poros. All right, that's officially two hours down. And I said the XP rates at the beginning were going to be the fastest, but we've actually stepped it up to 118,000 XP per hour um, due to the cooking and I really think we're going to up that in this next hour as well so look for the hour three up there. Alrighty we just passed the three hour mark um, sitting around 431.6 thousand XP gained at a rate of 145 clean 145 thousand XP per hour. Right now we're doing cooking obviously and we're at about 193.3 XP 193.3 thousand XP per hour. Over 80 cooking coming in here. We can now cook shark. 
Just now passing the four hour mark, we're sitting at 631.6 thousand experience, uh, averaging 158.8 thousand experience per hour, and we are still cooking. Got ourselves level 81 cooking coming in right here. Uh, total level of 1525, no new unlocks as far as cooking goes though. Just now passing the five hour mark, as you guys can see in the top right hand corner, we are at 838.5.7 thousand XP gained. Uh, putting us about 168.6 thousand per hour. 82 cooking coming in. We can now cook sea turtles, and we are coming up pretty quickly on our first uh, six hour login. Uh, quick update we are at uh, 988.1 thousand now, uh, about 174 thousand XP per hour. Yeah, so here's something I didn't know. If you, uh, if you stay logged into this game for too long and it kicks you out and you try to log back in, it'll just actually close on your app. Uh, so, our stats got reset. So these are going to be the last raw fish on the... Um, there are more. We have, uh, we have raw sharks, we have raw manta rays and sea turtles, but we're not going to cook those right now because the burn rate would be too high. So what I actually plan on doing is whenever we get these cooked up, we're going to head to um, our domain and start uh, training some thieves. But we are going to have to switch worlds, which means that this little timer down here is going to reset. So we'll just keep track. I'll say we'll probably be at around 45 minutes. All right, so I joined the Thieving Host uh, clan chat, and it looks like, just going through it, in World 305, I saw a lot of people in World 305, so that might be it. We're going to hop around a little bit. Like I said, it's going to reset our timer. Yeah, looks like he is trapped here, so. Uh, shout out to the Thieving Host clan chat. If you guys... Uh, are, are trying to do thieving, I, I'd highly recommend getting in that clean chat. So I just missed recording um, number 64. I think I have the clip, I'll have popped it up. But um, 64 thieving that unlocks us a uh, lizardman temple thing with mulch, apparently. All right, so that didn't take long. The slasher that was in this world actually logged out. So the, uh, the knight that was in this corner here just uh, disappeared. Um, but for now, let's go to Edgeville and cra uh, get our crafting up some more. All right, level 53 crafting coming in. We can now make snakeskin body armor. Level 54 crafting gets us water battle stamps, okay? Level 55 crafting is going to get us dragon stones, dragon stone rings, and the slayer helmet. Those are actually all three really good, especially coming off of uh, snakeskin armor. <clears throat> and with that, we're actually looking down here. We see that uh, this login has been one hour, so that's going to be what we'll we starting hour number eight right now. The six hour login, one hour. Yeah, that's gonna be hour number eight. So at hour number eight, we can see that we are at, uh, it says 207.1 thousand XP gained. Um, remember our log out after the six hours um, canceled the, or closed the window. So it canceled off that like 1 million XP that we had there. So we're sitting at about 1.2 million um, in, in eight hours. So not bad. Level 56 crafting gives us uh, diamond necklaces and snakeskin shields. All right, just slipped past the nine hour mark. We got a little bit of uh, magic experience. We went ahead and made a bunch of jewelry and then enchanted it. Uh, made a little bit of, what do we do here? Silver ore, I wanna say. Um, but the reason we're here fighting the crabs is because we're trying to get, I wanna say I only need six more small unidentified fossils um, to complete off the entire small fossil set. So we're gonna go ahead and get that done as fast as possible. All right, we finally got the unidentified small fossil, and I'm gonna run over here to safety real fast. I'll just give the hourly update right now. Um, we're sitting at about 325,000 total experience gained um, on top of the one mil earlier, so I'm just gonna say 1.3. I'm gonna say 1.3 mil uh, total so far, give or take. Uh, in the last hour, obviously, we've done a lot of training, uh, so we gained about 56,000 um, strength and around uh, 19,000 hit points. Uh, in the last hour, I do have to give a shout out. My girlfriend's brother actually just recently had a baby. And by recently, I mean like within the last hour, uh, had a baby. So, you know, big shout out to him. Uh, but going back on track here, we have the unidentified small fossil, which if we throw into the bank uh, and we go to the original tab, we'll see that we have 65 of them. And we need, I want to say we need 70 uh, overall for the, um, for the museum. But if we look here, we can actually claim five unidentified fossils from Peter after reconstructing the uh, museum camp. Um, and I want to say the only one that we haven't done is the cooking pot, which takes two logs, a tinderbox, iron bar, and three soft clay. Just building up the fire pit right here. I believe that's the last one. So let's go ahead and check like that. And 
go talk to Peter. He should give us five unidentified fossils here. Give us fossils, five unidentified fossils. So, let's get that done real fast, and then we'll go uh, fix up the museum. All right, so I'm just going to record the whole process of uh, putting these things together. I want to say it's downstairs that we do this. Okay. Wow, this place, I've not been down here at all. Zig Wait a minute. It looks like a zygomite, but I don't think I don't recognize the thing on its head. We get this antique lamp, which I want to say is worth two grand in each. Is that Bigfoot imprint? Uh, it's literally Bigfoot print. It's a ancient zygomite. Uh, not much. Oh my god, these are coins. Well, Oracle, hope you're watching this one. Another shell. It's an oyster. This is one of those, uh, one of those Pokemons. The shell is from herself. Okay, well. Omega symbol. Oh, I have added something down here. I don't remember ever coming down here, but it says I do. I'm gonna throw these antique lamps into air floor. Unfortunately, that didn't even go a single level. I might have to add more to these, uh, like the the displays, like the medium fossils and everything like that. I might have to just clean and add because I don't want to. I want to make sure I'm getting that 150. That's a hoop snake. I know that one? A fish of some sort. I think it's Mr. Sykes. Level 55 herb lore. We got super strength potions. And I want to say, I don't know how many quorms we have, but I want to say it's uh, Limpwort and Quorm. I wonder if I can, you know, I want to play that funny clip of, uh, it's either, I want to say it's Sansa or Vertoso, one of the two. Doing the, Not the, the Quorm! The Quorm! Not the snake, but the Quorm! Take a snake off! I hope I find that thing. It's another footprint. Primitive joke. Oh, it's a butt print. So they are going up. It looks like they go up uh, two per completed display case because we were at 118 last time we came in. Uh, hold on, I must be missing some small display cases because I thought this is my last one. All right, so these are the small display cases. All right, I thought these were mediums. Ah, the Siamese twin. Biclops. That just, that just means a regular person. Is that an egg with wings? Oh. Egg extraordinary. Okay. That's my first game for the day. Except for that, I still have um, 14 hours to go. So that is all of the uh, small fossils done. Now I'm gonna look up the, um, I'm gonna go to the bank real fast, just stand in it, look up the medium fossils and see, um, see if I wanna throw those in. Because again, we could get that 150 kudos. All right, so I made the decision. We're actually just gonna go ahead and clean off all of the fossils that we have um, and add them all to this, the display cases and see what we have. In the future, we'll just add them as we get them. Because we have the most uh, displays, it looks like in the northern area, we're just gonna go ahead and add the add to those. So we have one, two, three, four fossil, medium fossils to give up here. Let's start there. Uh, the medium fossils, it is worth noting, the antique lamps that we get from the medium fossils are going to actually be worth uh, 3,500 in any skill above 30, whereas the smalls were worth 2,000 in any skill above 20. Uh, either way, we're throwing them all into herb lore. That right there should give us, yep, level 56 herb lore, super energy mix. I, I just realized how much experience that we actually got from these lamps into... Um, the herb lore skill and i know i need 58 herb lore i know um for the herb sack i need 58 herb lore for the herb sack so actually we may be able to get that just off of these antique lamps jesus got the head like a guy i went to high school with
and it's worth noting that we are actually now above level, or not level, we are above 150 kudos, so we can use that gate now. You know what? Oh, 5,000? Level 57, I want to say that's what we need for uh, Fairy Tale Part 2. All right, so the large uh, cases are going to be 5,000 and any skill above level 35. I think that might actually be all that we're able to do here. So I'm just going to add the rest of my fossils in here and we'll see what we can do. So I really don't think we need the fishing potions and I'd, and I'd honestly much rather have the uh, super energies here. But because it's so close, I'm going to make a very reckless decision, a very quick one, to get as many... Um, to get as much XP as possible to get that herb sec right now. So we're just gonna mix it and get the fishing potion. And that right there is going to be level 58 herb lore. We can now use the herb sack and make hunting mix. Uh, I don't really care about the hunting mix, but the herb sack is actually great because I wanna say we, we have the gem bag, we have the herb sack, and now we, and we have the seed, or we have the gem bag, the seed box, and now we have the herb sack. So doing pretty well in that in that area. So let's make it official. Let's talk with uh, Farmer Gricoler by the herb sack. What else can we get from this guy while we're here? We can get the auto weed, which I'm going to say is worth it. So we're going to go grab that. The next skill that we're going to be focusing on um, for basically probably the next hour or probably significantly more is going to be herb lore. Um, and what we're going to start, or not, not herb lore. My mind is all wrapped around herb lore right now. Uh, it's actually going to be fletching, and one of the ways that we're going to do this, I'm on the wrong tab. Where is, uh, let me get you into the bow tab. Where's my bow tab? The Ava's device. Nope. All right, I'll find it. But what we're looking for is we're looking for oyster pearls um, in order to get, like, opal or pearl, pearl bolt tips, I want to say is what it is. Something to that effect. 11th hour update, we are on, um... About 1.4 million experience. All right, we are at uh, 12 hour, and we're about to get nerd logged. So we're just gonna actually log ourselves out, and we're gonna wait five minutes and log back in so that we don't close on the application like we did uh, last time. Just finishing up our last inventory of that's our last oyster pearl, oyster pearl right there. Uh, so now we have a little over 1,100 pearl bolt tips. Those are gonna be really useful later um, when we enchant them and start to kill like fire giants or whatever with them. Coming up on 71 fletching right now, which means that we can make dragonstone tipped runite bolts. All right, a little bit late on this, but um, we're kind of, we just passed hour 13 about 10 minutes ago. We're at uh, 1.45 mil XP gained and still fletching. Ladies and gentlemen, we're coming up on the uh, last little inventory of fletching that we can get done. I'm actually kind of confused as to what I want to do next. Um, I'm going to head over to the farming guild since I'm already on Zaya, uh, get that done, get like all the uh, crops harvested. I think I do have a fight with the um, Hispori that's ready to go as well. Uh, I planted it yesterday, so it should be ready by now, hopefully. Um, then I might just run uh, some, I'm, I'm going to try and figure out what I want to do next, but I might actually just run some agility laps between now and then and figure it out. But that's going to be it as far as these go. These logs, I'm going to save for... Uh, construction and then the magic logs i don't have the level to do anything with them yet except burn them which i'm not going to do i don't know if, i don't have planks here i might actually go do some house stuff anyways i'll find that out here in a second for now i'm just going to go over to the uh, farming guild all right so it turns out that the hispori is actually not um not ready to be fought yet but uh i, I think i figured out what i want to do i do have a bunch of uh sand and seaweed saved up so i think i'm thinking i'm going to uh get some more crafting levels just passing the 14 hour mark and we can see that we are at about 1.5 mil um this gives us green dehyde van braces coming up on hour number 15 here we can see that we're at uh, 1.53 mil xp gain just now getting level 58 crafting which unlocks uh earth battle staffs and diamond bracelets level 59 crafting gets us toxic staff of the dead and the trident of the swamp we're not gonna be making either of those heavy done with the uh molten glass and you know what if i remember correctly i believe yeah i got a mossy key in here and because the um hisporia wasn't ready may as well go fight uh bryophyta 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 um just to get a boss fight in of some sort oh uh okay i thought we had to take a slash weapon to get here
Wow. I may have overprepared for this a little bit. My plan right now is to actually get into the fishing shoal area. Um, before that, I want to say we need like 44 hunter or something like that, as well as um, some fishing. We have the fishing level. We're at 82 fishing right now, but we do need to get the hunter level. So I'm going to pick up a couple ropes in Lumbridge, and then we're going to head into uh, Mauritania and start catching some swamp lizards until we're 44 or 47 or whatever it needs to be. So it turns out that uh, catching one of these swamp lizards is actually a medium test in the Mortenia area, so we're done with that. That's nice. Uh, hour number 16 is done. Getting the uh, little nerd warning again. That's 16, right? 6, 6, and then 4, 16. Yeah, 16. Um, sitting about 1.583 mil, hunter level 36. And still just chugging away. It's going to be a 37 hunter that gets us prickly kebits. We can make or catch. All right, fellas, we are currently 16 hours in, like 16 hours and eight minutes. We're just going to say 16 hours. Um, and I'm actually going to go to sleep right now because, and, and we'll finish off the next eight hours tomorrow. But right now, I am dying. So we will uh, get started. Let's go ahead and pause these. I want to make sure that I show the right amount of XP and then we can get the XP rates in a 24 hour time frame. So I'll pause the uh, the stats as if we never left, but I need to sleep. All right, it is now morning. We're back. I probably sound a little bit more energized. I mean, realistically right there, I was kind of yelling into the microphone. Um, but finally got, uh, got a little bit of sleep, so now we're back onto the grind. Um, I'm going to do an hour and 52 minute login here, and then I'll do another six hour login, and that's going to be all 24 hours on the mid level account. Uh, Getting ourselves level 54 hunter, and it's a perfect time too because these 52 minutes right here, remember from the last clip, we were, I want to say four hours and eight minutes, so that's gonna be our uh, five hour plus 12, 17 hour update. Um, 1.6 million XP gain. And with this, we can actually do the drift net fishing um, since we uh, back on Fossil Island. So that's what we're gonna go ahead out and do. Words are hard. All right, I forgot that you have to have uh, jute to make fish net or drift nets so um yeah we're not gonna be doing that for now we're not we may not be able to do the fishing but we can at least plant our seaweed spores on here all right so this is gonna be the hour 18 update um what we're gonna do right now is we're going to go to the farming guild do the hispori boss complete the contract get all that done and then one of the things i want to do probably in the next six hours may take the next six hours but upgrade the lovakenge piscarilius and the Shazy in favor to 100%. But let's see what we got in the seed pack. Oh, we got a Hespori seed right off the bat. And a Spirit seed. Um, there's a Spirit patch here. Uh, this is actually going to save us a lot of time. So we're actually going to log out right now and just do a little five minute log out. Um, just to make sure that we only have to do the um, six hour login. And then we'll be done with the entire 24 hours. So. All right, quick little change of plans. After we're done fighting the Hesporian and doing all the farming here, rather than get up the uh, favor, I'm actually just going to head to the Woodcutting Guild and start AFKing some yew trees so I can actually start um, editing this video together so I can get it out to you guys tomorrow on Sunday. All right, we're probably going to speed this clip up, but this is going to be the Hespori fight. Oh, my attack options were hidden. We're going to break from the cave real fast. All right, round two. All right, let's get our gear and see what, uh, what loot we get from him. We get at a seed and a snapdragon seed. That's actually not bad because I want to say that snapdragon is actually worth uh, a fair amount. 57,000. I'm happy with it. Hour 19 down. We are almost about 1.7 mil XP. Uh, still editing the video while I'm doing this. So just past the 20 hour mark and we look, we're at 1.7 mil XP gain. So. Yeah. 
All right, you think I'd, I would have learned my lesson after yesterday and trying to log back in after getting force logged, uh, but I did not. So our XP tracker reset again. We were at about 900,000 XP, um, coupled with the uh, the 1 mil XP from the from the force log out yesterday in the closure of the application, which happened again today. Um, we'll say 1.9. It was between 1.9 and 1.95, but if we round that up, we'll say 2 mil. So 2 mil in 24 hours on a mid-level account, which is not bad. It's not great. It's not meta by any means, but we were able to use a lot of the stuff on our bank, um, get a lot of experience. I was I was really proud of what we accomplished in this 24 hours. Um, if you guys do want to see more on this account, the next episode, I'm trying to get that master clue done. So it's probably going to be just a big clue opening and it'll be a lot shorter than this one. Um, if you guys want to see that one, obviously uh, subscribe, like, and uh, comment what you, what you guys liked most about this episode or what you'd like to see in the future.